Hi there, fellow sea glass lovers. Thanks so much for joining me today. I'm Jackie, and in today's video, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about this sea glass mosaic that I did. It's a silhouette of me taking my granddaughter for a walk on the beach. Now, chances are, if you're watching this video, you are a beach lover, and you like going to the beach, you like collecting sea glass, and you've really found the value that that adds to your life but you may not realize how important it is to pass that skill on to the next generation because we have learned that life doesn't always deal us a nice hand. We want our lives to go along tickety-boo just as we planned, doesn't happen. Life gives us challenges and there are times when you're really feeling pretty beat up and going to the beach can really recharge and rejuvenate and I've learned that through the years for sure. And I'm thinking maybe you have too. And this is a skill to pass on to our, our next generation, our children in life, to teach them that there's a way to really deal with the tough stuff that can be feeding yourself back. You know, go to the beach, listen to the waves go in and out, in and out. And that's so therapeutic. And to look at the sights, look at that sparkle on the water, look at the capes, look at the sand. It's all very rejuvenating and really giving your children a way to cope with some of the tough stuff. So I'm going to show you a little bit about how I did this sea glass mosaic. So first of all, I just drew a very simple sketch of myself and my granddaughter walking along the beach with the water and the sky and a nice big sun, a little sailboat out on the water. And I know that I just want to keep it really simple because this is a very small piece. It's only eight inches by 10 inches. And then I taped this to the back of the glass in my frame. So then I used my quick seal adhesive caulking to glue on my sea glass. And I started out by gluing on the silhouette of my granddaughter and myself walking on the beach using brown sea glass because I find brown sea glass creates a nice silhouette. And then I can fill in all of the sand and the capes here as well. And if you look a little closer, I put a piece of driftwood here in the foreground. And I also put a little anukshuk standing on top of a rock right there. You'll also notice at the base of the cape that I did a little layering. I put a few extra pieces of sea glass and a few little rocks and a shell there on top of my brown sea glass just to add a bit more weight at the bottom of the cape. All these little details just add a little bit more interest and draw a person in to look a little closer at your sea glass mosaic. And I have a little blue sailboat out on the horizon. We're just breaking the horizon line there. And then there's this incredible white piece that I'm using for the sun. And then I'll just fill in all of the water in green and all of the sky in white. And then my sea glass mosaic is finished. And after I finish, I just want to add a little label to the back. Here I've written Share the Love, J. Trimper, on a piece of sea pottery and I've glued it to the back of my piece. And I've also added two D hooks near the top of the back of my frame so I can put some picture hanging wire there and then I can hang this piece in the window. So now I've got this hanging in the window and the light of the day shines through the sea glass and it's just spectacular. And it reminds me so much of those beach walks that I have on the beach with my granddaughter. Thanks so much for joining me for this video. I really hope it encourages you to share your love of the beach with the younger generations. And until next time, I hope you make it out to the beach and happy sea glass hunting.